night class, no gi. Uh, if you guys are just tuning in for your first time, welcome. If you guys are returning back to class, welcome back. Uh, we are continuing on our curriculum, We're starting to move into our butterfly guard. So if you guys are new to the butterfly guard, um, I'm going to teach you the understanding of how the butterfly works, how to keep the hooks engaged. We're going to get into arm drags, taking the back, how to apply to the front headlock, and I'm also going to start uh, introducing leg and tail to the butterfly as well. So uh, guys, do us a favor. If you guys are on uh, Instagram, make sure you add us on our YouTube channel. That way you don't miss any of the techniques that we add in and uh, start doing our breakdown videos. If you guys are on uh, YouTube, welcome. Please make sure you hit that like button. If you guys are, um, if you guys like the content, give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment box on either Instagram or YouTube, and I'll do my best to make sure you do that. All right, guys, so we're going to get right into it. Um, again, so I've got Roman with me today. If I, nobody has any other questions, we're going to get right into it. Tension. Uh, okay, so because we're working a lot of butterfly guards today, we're going to use our butterfly guard movements. This stuff you guys can do at home. You guys don't even have to do it um, in a gym. It's just basic exercise. You guys can do it for yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by bringing one foot in. We're going to do drags. We're just going to come up here. We're going to do 10 on each side. So we're going to bring our left foot in. So we're going to do this. Bring your left foot in. Okay. And we're going to sit up. And as we come up, we're going to drive our hips forward. Okay. Come back down. Sit up. Hips forward. Okay. Let's go 10 on each side. On, on our own. Let's go 10. On your own. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. Now we're going to hip escapes. Now because I know a lot of people, I'm going to hip escape one direction, come back, put it to the other direction. Then I'm going to sit up. Okay, when I sit up, I'm going to use my feet to drag in. I'm going to drag myself in. Hip escape one side. Hip escape one side. From the center, come up. My legs are in sit. I'm going to scoot in. I'm going to scoot in. Okay, we're going to do 10 rotations of that. Any questions? Questions? Okay, give me that. Let's go. All right, guys, I want you guys doing this at home. Let's go. Guys, we're making sure we don't fall over when we do these scoops. In, we're pulling in. We're pulling in. These are really important for understanding how the butterfly mechanics work. Make sure you guys are doing us a favor. Those for you. I'm doing breakdown videos of all of our techniques that are, that are on the YouTube channel. So make sure if you are not subscribed to the channel, so you make sure you get all those updates as they come in. Click that little bell so you guys get them as they get released. <laughs> all right, so there he forgot. See what happens, how good my students are. They forget, all right, so next thing. All right, so now. We're going to do little exercise with each other. Actually, we'll still do it individually. Um, pull in, push back. Okay, I'm grabbing a partner or an opponent. I'm pulling in. Now I'm framing on them, and I'm going to push away. Right, so my feet shouldn't come off the floor. I'm pulling with my heels, and I'm pushing with my knees. Okay? Yes, you bring your butt off the ground. Yes, off the ground. <laughs> Go! Let's see, look, if Roman can do it, anybody can do it. We all know, Roman's a... It's a little bit, I'm sorry, I'm like driving the highway, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is that? Driving the highway. I'm not driving the highway. I'm not driving the highway. I'm driving Deeper into a deeper hole. And I'm not talking about a happy Gilmore hole, either. Even a tire not even a tire cable. <laughs> All right, forward. We're gonna go five steps on each arm. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Right. Then we're gonna do our walkouts. Walk around as long as we can. Come as low as we can. Come up. Walk back. Okay. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Let our feet stretch out as low as we can. And then walk it back. We have five. Of these, okay. All right. Let's go. I don't know. Let's, let's go. After this, guys, we're gonna get into some technical drill. I feel like this is uh, like a like an offbeat CrossFit exercise. 
Cross itself defense. Cross itself defense. That thing's real. Have you guys seen it? If you guys haven't actually seen that, like do yourself a favor and, and Google it. CrossFit self defense. It's fantastic. Alright. Cool. So now let's get into our flexes. Uh, what I'm gonna do is if you guys are watching at home, I'm gonna move our partners around so you guys don't have to start moving your head like trying to get around us. Uh, I'm gonna move them so you don't have to move. So I'm gonna start seated. Okay, so let's start Okay, the first thing you need to understand about the butterfly guard is how it works. I see a lot of people wearing the butterfly. They get our feet here, but they don't actually. It is number one, he wants to get me flat on the ground. Okay, so if I'm already laying flat on the ground, when I get the butterfly guard, I'm already doing the hard part for him. He doesn't have to worry about my upper body anymore. He's already basically has free roam on my lower half. So I need to make sure that I'm here in the in the um in the upright position, okay? Like when we wrestle, I, I realize that the butterfly guard is no different than when I'm up here. I'm wrestling. It's just another position for me to re-engage. So I'm going to keep my elbows in. I'm going to keep my elbows in on this. And what I want to make sure is he can't push me down. So we're going to do a little drill just to make sure we have base to it. I'm going to let my partner push me back. Okay, I'm going to scoop my hips. What I'm going to do. So let's stay in. It's for us to understand how to maintain this, this position. Not even the butterflies yet. This is more of just a posturing in the butterfly guard. So he's pushing. I want him to push me backwards. Here is not where I want to be. I want to be here. When I'm here, I address. So I want him to try to push me down. Go. Push me down. Push me down. There you go. All right, you guys understand how it works. All right, give me back. Go. All right, go. Try to, I, I want to, this is an active, I want you to try to push him down. Bottom person, your job is 10 seconds left. Push him down, Romeo, you are just being lazy. Time, other person. I got too fat. Is that what it is? Okay, I'll give it to you. <laughs> CJ is looking a little fat. <laughs> Let's go. 30 seconds. Good. Time. All right. Okay. So now this we're, we're going to revisit this drill before we end class today. What I want us to do is understand that these are the mechanics of how to stay upright. Because when we start getting into sweeps, attacks, entanglements, we have to understand how we engage our core. So what we're going to do now is again, I'm going to do different directions. I'm going to move the camera. Uh, I'm going to move my heart around. So you guys can see all angles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do my first drag. Now, I'm a big believer in the kill positions from here, but we have to have options before we go to the kill. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna work on some drag series. I'm gonna show two variations of a very basic arm drag. Now, if you've ever wrestled, arm drags are such a big part of our, of our recipe for when we, uh, we grab them. So I'm gonna use the same principle. I can't have my arms out, I'm elbows in, okay? So if elbows in, I'm gonna reach through and I'm gonna grab, where did I just put myself? See, Jake? I'm, I'm, I put myself on my back, right? So a lot of the times we drag from here, they do this, they pull up, and I already think I'm giving him exactly what he wants. Except now I'm also unable to do it in my hands. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through the tri, and I'm gonna pull in past my body. Now look what's happening. When I pull past the body, I'm gonna stay with him to my whole body. And I'm gonna bring his arm to the floor. Okay, um, move this arm. So if you guys can see my elbow, I'm, I'm hitting his arm to the floor here. Okay? What I'm doing with my outside arm and my butterfly. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hip escape out. When I hip escape out, now I'm gonna pull his body to fill the gap, lay in top position for the kill. Okay? So just I'm here. I'm dragging. Okay? Before he goes back, I'm gonna pin this. I'm gonna lay on his arm. I'm on top of him. Okay, I'm gonna hip escape, 
which actually flattens him in the floor. Hip escape, and I'm gonna open my Yeah, we have, we have, he's like, I don't know what that is. ISO. Like, you would think all he's been talking about is Tiger King, and you would think he would know some reference to what the Mata Leone is. Jesus Christ. All right. So now I'm going to do this. Okay, so get here. I'm here, guys. Look. I'm dragging. I'm not pulling. It's a drag because I'm staying tight. I'm dragging past me. Past me. I'm going to be on top of him. Pull the hook out. Scoop, pull. Stay tight the whole time. Okay, so you can feel this and you can see this. Okay, grabbing the tricep. Remember, I'm not doing this. I'm actually doing the opposite. I'm pulling him past and I'm bringing myself to him. As I collapse on him, you feel like there's pressure on that arm. Right? So I'm actually, where a lot of guys pull it here. I'm going to put on pressure here. That way, so when I lock his lat, and I hit the skate, look, there's that space right there. Boom. I'm on top of it. Grabbing his lap. Hit the skate, pull. Look at it. Easy. I grab that top side wrist. On the neck. Pull this guy out. Boom. For the kill. We're going to do this one more time. I'm here. Okay, so remember, I'm dragging. I'm staying almost like, watch how tight I stay the whole time. I'm keeping the suck to you. Right? Here. A lot of pressure. Now I can even keep this here. So what I'm saying by this here is that my elbow plate. I can be on top of his arm or I can be on inside. And I can break his, his posture down a little bit with this. Right in here. Okay? Next thing I do is what? All he's going to do is pull right in that space. Wrist control, come back in for my hand. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions at home? Any questions at home? Any questions on YouTube? If not, let's give this a try. Let's go. All right, three and three, three and three. After this, guys, I'm gonna show you another variation of how to get that arm drag, and then I'm gonna go into our front headlock kill uh, from the guillotine from there, once they start defending it. I need you to pull his arm to the floor so there's weight on his arm. Yeah, it's, it's a kill. Is that good? Yeah. It's definitely some kill. Yep. Because I want to make sure so you can't posture up content. I will film all these videos and all the breakdowns of these are going to be live, not live, but they will be up on the YouTube channel. So don't miss it. Nice. And see, like, you see what CJ just did right there? That was actually really good. He hip escaped twice. He doesn't have to be that one hip escape. You guys can hit hip escape as many times as you want until you get that perfect position just to pull him right into your guard. That's all it is. Jiu-Jitsu should be about space management. It doesn't need to be this, this I'm forcing everything. Just keep it simple. I'm gonna show the um, the secondary to this. So now I'm gonna show you another grip. Another grip for the arm drag. Basically two, our two on one series. So this elbows in. So I'm gonna go two on one. Okay, I'm gonna go two on one. Right, but this one I'm gonna go thumb down. Boom, boom. And it's more like a self-defense style grip. This, but my hand's a little compromised. I'm gonna go bottom side grip, boom, or bottom uh, bottom top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this past, and I'm gonna pin his wrist to the floor. Pinning it to the floor. Now, doing the same thing here, I'm gonna keep his weight on it, same thing, but now I'm gonna scoop. Keeping this wrist pinned to the floor. I'm using a C grip, yes sir. Bam, coming down. Boom. Boom. I can wrist lock it there too. Here. I like wrist locks. Okay. 
So I get distracted when I see little cool little interesting people. Okay, so I'm here. Here. I'm gonna pull it past and pin the floor. When I'm pinning the floor, I'm gonna disengage. Arm goes around the, the lat. Same thing, hip escape. There it is. Easy. Right to the Okay, so I'm going to flip this one, then we're going to get into our first uh, front headlock. Okay, so three and three guys, you guys do this at home. Give me a count of three of them. You guys have to do it. I'm going to wait until all the Yes, stay right. I have escape. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Beautiful. You see that same thing. The more times you hip escape, you, you're going to pull them right into the spot they need to fall into. I have a question. Yes. After your hip escape, is the bottom leg actively pulling your opponent in at all? That's a good question. Um, the question is, after I hip escape, is my bottom leg pulling the opponent in at all? No, actually. It's staying, it's staying um, uh, just active. So what do I mean by that? So when I'm in this position, this is more pinning. So this is my bottom foot is just staying as an active hook. I'm just keeping them locked in here because what's happening is I'm scooting out with my left leg, the outside leg. That's allowing me to scoot, and now there's this big space, this concave space. That's around. I'm pulling him in, and I get my hook. Pull that in. All right. So now let's get into some of the cool stuff. I know you guys all like submissions. It's it's fun always doing drags and positions, but we want to know how to kill people. Um, so, all right, here's how we do it. All right, so now we're going to go to our first uh, strangle. Now, everybody, it's no secret. Everybody knows that I like my headlock attacks. Now, we're going to start breaking it, breaking down my systems from the butterfly guard. There's a whole series that we're going to learn here from the butterfly, anaconda, I'm sorry, the anaconda, the guillotine, the darts, and I'm also going to start touching in a leg entanglement. But we have to understand the mechanics of how it works first, and this is going to be our guillotine strangle from here. So, when I get in this position, it's going to be a little harder from here unless I start learning how to keep this up. We're going to go to our first drag. I'm going to drag the arm in. Now, a lot of times the guy doesn't like this, so what's he going to do? He's going to drag back. So look, when he does this, or he, you don't have to drag, I just pull back. I'm going to scoot my, hip, my hips in. There's that drill from earlier. Okay, so scoot. Okay, so I'm going to drag. He pulls back. It's going to pull me in close to him. Okay, I'm going to duck my head tight here. My outside arm is going to come sweet. Switch arms here. Okay. I'm under I'm underhooking the arm on this side. Okay, so I'm switching. Boom. Because now my outside arm is going to wrap around his head. Okay, I'm going to go around his head and I'm going to go top side grip. For those of you who know my system, top side grip's here. Gable grip, bottom side grip, top side grip. Okay, so I'm dragging, I switch arms. Now when I switch arms, it's going to prevent him from being able to do what? Posture all the way up. If I have that arm locked in, he's not going to be able to posture. Posture okay. It's not even here on his neck. I want to attack the crown. Because that's going to help allow me to hit my, my kill when I go to the finish. I lock the top side grip. Now, before I hit this finish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him in the knees. Pull up. This is going to allow me to you know, take my bottom foot. I'm going to drag it to the top of the hip here. Okay, I want to my shin to his belly and my foot to hit a uh, hook on his head. Okay, so I'm here and I can pretty much get it. Okay, so I'm here. Now, my foot goes on his hip. Look, I'm still sitting upright. The reason why I'm not falling backwards is because based on my headlock system, I actually want back. Now I'm going to do a crunch. Yeah. Is that right? Top side grip, and again, I'm going to move him around so you guys see his angle. From here, I take height, so I the opposite leg, but it can still move. When I lock this, I'm locking it under his chin as a wedge. You guys see this here? There's a wedge under his chin. So when I start changing details of my headlocks, 
Come here, hit that drag. Boom. Once I get to this point, when we're tight against the body, I'm gonna switch arms. Switch here. Boom. Around the head. Elbow down. Top side grip. Now this is where it really makes it important to know where your feet are. I'm in the butterflies. So if I want to make it a little bit tighter, I'll scoop my hips in. If I get that foot across the hip. Or not my chest, my ribs. Once I come to the back. <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I'm putting a little bit of pressure, but I'm not doing anything crazy. One more time. Look at that. You feel that cut. Oh. Oh. That's the guillotine from the arm drag. You right? Yeah, I'm sure. You guys want to do this try? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. All right, three and three, guys. Three and three. If you guys have more questions, please keep them coming. If you guys are watching on Instagram, do us a favor, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything up to date. Technique breakdowns. I'm going to do a whole technical breakdown. This. We're going to film the whole series. We're going to go through my entire front headlock system from the butterfly. So make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't miss a beat. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying this stuff so far. Um, I know it's a tough time that we're all in, but I know like this keeps me sane. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this technique and, and stuff that you guys are able to implement in your game. And it's allowing you to have that little bit of normality in your life uh, while we're, we're all going through this together. Put in the comment box. You guys are watching on YouTube. Give it a little thumbs up. Nice. You see how fast that comes on? Elbow mm. right. down a little more. Yeah. Get that foot on the hip. Okay, that was tight. Do me a favor. Before you sit back, I need your foot on the hip. Before you sit back. Because if not, they're going to jump over. Yes. Big difference, right? Yeah. Because when that foot is there, it allows you to dig the head under in the right place. So, yep, let's do it up. Let's do it three more times. <clears throat> then I'm going to show you guys a cool little uh, leg entanglement series. You want to lay on it as much as you can. So watch this, guys. Let me. I want to point out one detail. One of the big things that makes the whole headlock system so so effective is that when I get into my attack zone, I'm not just going over his head and around his neck. Watch this. You'll feel me. Can you feel like there's a, there's that it's like a knife slicing into the head around where I want, right? You can feel that. It's uncomfortable, right? It's a nice little nerve pocket, right? So the thing is, when I'm here, when I come over there, I don't go around the neck. I'm going to slide it on the face and through the bone of where I want. Bam. That's how I know where I'm at. Uh, right? So that way there's no, like, trying to fumble it. I'm really keep. Okay, all right. So got a question from YouTube. How do you keep his head from posturing up immediately prior to wrapping up the guillotine? So that was what we, uh, we talked about where you go to the, the reverse side of the, uh, the arm drag. When we thread the arm through and I grab the other arm, that's keeping him postured down. Because if I just grab here and he postures up, I'm going to have to scoot in to keep attacking. But when I go for my arm drag, I'm going to thread the other arm through to keep him locked down. Even if he postures up, his head's just going to elevate and I'm still going to be able to come around. 
The only time I let go of this other arm is when I get my top side grip. So I hope that uh, that answers your question. Cool. All right, cool, awesome. So now, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little intro of what we're doing for the week. Uh, and then we're gonna end off with a drill for these guys that play with the butterflies. So this week, we're gonna spend a lot of time with understanding how the butterfly front headlock system works. So today we worked on our butterfly attacks. Tomorrow we're gonna, uh, I mean our guillotine, Tomorrow we're going to integrate the guillotine and the anaconda together. The same way that I transition my entire headlock system. Okay, so now we're hitting here. But the problem is, let's say now this is not getting it. So I'm here. Now when I, I can't get the grip, I'm going to pull this through. Hit on the side, right? Now I've got my anacondas from this side. Ex exiting here. Okay, boom. I have my anaconda. Okay, another option that we have from here. Instead of going to the uh, arm, boom. Darcy is here. Now, some of the cool stuff, I know everybody's really big into leg locks now. From the butterfly, there's a lot of stuff that I can do here. So for me, I love playing a lot of deep butterfly. So when I'm coming here, I elevate here. Okay, I'm in deep butterfly. And then I go into like an X guard, right? So I'm here, I go into X, single leg X. It's gonna allow us, once we get into it, I'm at this. Lift it up. Okay, from there, lift up. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick this through here. I'm gonna go right into my leg and hang on my 60. Okay? There's dirty, dirty leg locks over here. And it's really simple once we start understanding the mechanics. So this is what we're gonna build on this week. So today we worked on how to apply the drags, how to get to the front headlock, and then how to um, how to find the kill. So now we're gonna drill. I'm gonna hit my attacks. Boom. Coming back. Now look, I'm gonna come back up. He's pushing me, he's pushing me. Here, whoop. Disengage. Come right back, sitting up. Easy enough, right? So this isn't a fighting drill. I don't want this person fighting on my tax. His job is just to try to push me backwards. And my opportunity is to work for here, boom, there it is. Okay, there's that attack. Here, 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 whoop, there it is. Boom, right? So a lot of the stuff that works in jiu-jitsu is because we do right now, I'm gonna give you guys both one minute to play with this. Hey, All right, let's go. One minute each, guys. Go. Good, and then go. Good. Nice. Go again. Do you ever change angles, turn around this way so they can see another angle? Go. Ten seconds left. Thirty seconds. And time. Good work, guys. Okay, so little review for the wrap class. So what what we work on today, Roman? Awesome. So do a little quick review. Uh, position one we did was understanding that I can't be flat on my back, right? This was this was the basic concept. The second thing we worked on is drag number one. Move the tricep. Drag one, stay tight. Pinning it to the floor, grabbing the lat, coming out, boom, coming around, right? Drag number two, two on one, boom, here, right? Boom. Across, making it a pin. Grabbing the lat, same thing, hip escaping, pulling it, right? Okay. 
first attack from the front headlock system is from the first drag. Dragging, switching. Come on, two on one, I come around the head. Make, focusing on that, that bite right there. That's up, Roman. Yeah. Right? That's sucks. Right? All right, that's me. All right, so I'm coming here. Now I let go of that tricep, just grab the head, scoot in, quick the hip, drag his head to the floor. Okay, fingers on top, apply the kill. Okay, so again, those are the series that we worked on today. If you guys are watching at home, give this a try. If you guys have videos of you guys doing it and not feeling comfortable, send it to me. Plug it in on Instagram, uh, ask questions on YouTube, and I'll do my best to make sure I can address that so we can all get this stuff. Tomorrow's class, we are continuing the butterfly uh, curriculum. We are going to integrate the agility and the anaconda together. So uh, looking forward to see you guys there. 5.30 tomorrow. If you guys are doing our CMA fight camp, today is day six of the camp. Uh, April 30th is our weigh-in day. So I hope to see everybody at the finish line. Keep staying motivated. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow. Us. Awesome.